we are going to talk about this uh, instrument. This is an MVA uh, kit. Uh, it's a manual vacuum aspirator kit. It's uh, one instrument that is very important in obstetrics and gynecology. Um, we use it for termination of pregnancy. We use it for incomplete abortions. We use it for uh, missed abortions. Um, we use it for molar pregnancy. Um, we use it for endometrial biopsies when we don't have anything better to use. We, in the obstetric side, we can use it for maybe secondary PPH due to uh, retained products of conception. So a woman delivered maybe two weeks ago and she comes back bleeding and we realize that there are some uh, retained products of conception left the horse is closed so we can do an mva in that uh, particular case uh, so those are the indications for manual vacuum aspiration um the second part is that um we need to know parts of this um, instrument how to dismantle it properly and how to put it together properly so i'm going to demonstrate that right now. So when you are told to dismantle this instrument or you are dismantling it after um, a use of the patient because you want to uh, process it for reuse on the next patient, you have to start like this. So you disconnect these two parts. That's the beginning. Uh, you can put this one aside. Um, then you have to remove the collar, remove the plunger, so the collar is not really more removed properly. So yeah, you remove the collar, then you remove the plunger. So we have these uh, two parts, syringe, collar, plunger. Then on the plunger, we can see this black ring. This is a plunger or ring. Uh, uh, there's a technique for removing it as well. So you push uh, this part forward and you just dislodge it so you can see i've dislodged it right there so this is how the technique for doing that then you go to this part this part is the valve um the valve the way to dismantle the valve is to start with the valve cap so what you see on top here is the valve cap you have to press these two um, latches here so you press them then you easily remove the valve cap the second part of dismantling the valve is, you know, like you are trying to open your ground nuts. So you just open like that. So this is the valve that you are opening. Inside the valve, you have what is called a valve liner. So that's dismantling the valve. So that's how we uh, dismantle an MVA kit. So I can put it together again just to demonstrate. So yeah, let's put together the valve. We have this valve. Then we have a valve liner that you have to just put inside. You close it. You put the valve cap. You put back the plunger o-ring. You can see I'm putting back the black part like that. I put back the plunger in the syringe. I close the collar. Then I put back the syringe plunger system into, into the valve. So that's about this part. Um, before you use it on a patient, we usually check if it's working or if it's able to form a vacuum. That process is called charging. So when you ask, can you please charge the vacuum uh, instrument? So what you do is you close the valves. You pull it, so this is charging. So the MVA instrument is now charged. So for you to see if it's working, you just open the valve and you can hear that sound. I hope everyone heard that sound. So I'll do it again. So you close the valves, you pull the plunger out, then you open the valves. So you can hear that sound. So you know that this thing is forming a vacuum and it can work on a patient. So that's about this uh, thing. Then we have 
these ones i don't know if yeah i think it's clear now this this is um what we call a cannula this is the part of the mva kit that goes inside the cervix so we can see it over here we can see this one is yellow so this one is the smallest cannula you are going to have it's size four and it's coded yellow so when you see yellow you know it's size four um and the numbers on the the numbers on the cannulas indicate the size of the pregnancy you can ideally remove the uh, you can ideally use the uh, cannula for so if you have a four weeks pregnancy this is the ideal cannula to use if you have a five weeks pregnancy use size five if you have a six weeks pregnancy use size six and so on and so forth if you have a big pregnancy uh, you have to use a big cannula like if you have a 12 weeks pregnancy you have to use a size 12 cannula and size 12 cannula is the biggest um cannula size um the other thing about the cannulas is that they have this same yellow part that you can see so that yellow part is called an adapter so if you are asked what is this yellow part the yellow part is an adapter there's only one cannula that doesn't have an adapter because its size fits in the in the valve without need for a cannula and that is a size 12 size 12 um, cannula so this is the one it doesn't have an adapter because it fits in the valve without any need for an adapter so that's about um, this instrument i think we've covered um, everything about the manual vacuum aspirator everything that you need to know what you need to do now is um, uh, really just uh, get the word and try to use